Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. So this is the contest number 227 and this is the second problem of the contest. So the problem statement is fairly simple, you must have read it. There are three numbers A, B and C which represent the size of the pile. So we can pick one from two piles and then add one to the score and then reduce the size of those two piles by one. Now the game stops when we cannot pick two such piles. That means when the size of two piles reduces to zero and we have to maximize the score that we can collect. So after reading the problem statement yeah, we can just dive into the solution but during the contest I have come up with the big O of n solution so if there exists a constant time solution do let me know in the comments. So the constraints are 10 raised to the power 5 and that is why the big O of n solution also works. So let me just show you the solution that I have come up with. 2, 4 and 6 is the size of the pile which is given to us. 2, 4 and 6. This is the example number 1. Now what I want to do? I want to maximize the score and if I want to increase my score I will have to reduce the size of 2 piles. Alright? And my game stops as soon as 2 piles reaches to 0, reduces to 0. So I want to slow down the process of reducing the piles to zero so that I can get the maximum score. So this is what the greedy step is. I want to slow down the process of reducing the pile to zero. So if I want to slow down the process of reducing the pile to zero, I will be picking up the pile with the maximum number, right? So I could have picked two and four, but I will be picking four and six because these are the two greatest piles so why would I touch 2 because um, if I start taking from 2 it is going to make it 0 so I will be picking up although although I can do that in this example I can do that but in some example it's not going to work okay so the simple way the greedy way is to pick up the maximum two numbers these two numbers and then reduce them by 1 so it is going to give me 5 and uh, not 5 uh, 3 and 5 here and 2 here okay then again I will be picking up these two numbers it's going to give me uh, 2 and 2 and 4 here and 2 here then in the next step as well it is going to give me I'm going to pick these two numbers again these two are the greatest I could have picked this this two as well but then let it be 2 1 and 3 and then again these two numbers then it will give me one one and two and then again these two numbers and it will give me zero one and one now finally I can pick this one and this one it is going to give me zero 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 so I got six as the score in this case okay so this is the maximum that I can get so for doing the same we can use a data structure called priority queue to always get the two maximum but you can directly get it as well but for the sake of simplicity I'm just using priority queue here and you can have a look at the code so I made a priority queue of max heap type that means that uh, the top element will be the maximum then I inserted these three elements and created the answer so while the size of the queue is greater than two I'm picking up the two elements the two topmost elements and then incrementing the answer and at the same time decrementing these two elements and then if they are non-zero then push them again into the priority queue and finally return the answer now the there might be few students who don't know what priority queue is for them uh, let me just show you so you can read everything about priority queue or any other STL that I'm using in my codes from C++ so just go through this once go through this thing so we can push elements insert elements into the priority queue we can pop elements from the priority queue we can get the topmost element so these are all the basic operations that we frequently use so you can read everything about any STL that we use in our codes so this is it for the solution if you like the video uh, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want more such content in future there's a lot of material for interview preparation on my channel starting from the interview experience data structures and algorithms and a lot of other stuff so make sure to check it out do press the bell icon because I upload videos very frequently and you don't want to miss them thank you